Hello friends, this is I am Arya with my another video on IR remote decoding using Arduino through which we can decode any type of IR remote available in the market. So let's see about the things be required for this project. The first and the most important thing is the Arduino Uno board. Second is IR T-SOP receiver. Male to female jumper cables. And let's see the connections. You can pause and see the connections easily. So let's begin with installing the Arduino IDE on your system. I am using a Windows PC for this. So let's accept everything. So I am using uh, Arduino IR Master Library for decoding the IR remotes. Uh, let's wait until the Arduino ID installs. It can take a few minutes depending upon your system. And here I am pasting the IR decoding yes, library file on the desktop. Let's double click on the Arduino ID. Let's wait until it turns on. Okay. So we'll get go to sketches. Here you can see all the libraries that are installed already. That comes by default with the Arduino ID. We'll install a zip file and we'll browse to the file listed on our desktop. Showing a message that the file is already installed because I have already installed the file earlier. So now you can see the IR remote library in the list. We can find all the included examples in here. So let's copy the code on the Arduino ID sketchbook. So here is the code friends. I've included irremote.h, that's the library file. The output of the TSOP is connected to IR receive pin, that is pin number 11, digital pin 11. Okay, this is all about the code. We are using the serial monitor to see the output. So this is a simple code. If the IR remote is sending some signals and the TSOP is receiving, then we enter the if loop. The serial print print the decoded output in hex values on the serial output port. We can see it on the screen. And the third line is simple. It is resuming the IR remote once again. So you can see uh, there are many type of T-shops available in the market. The one we are using in this is the second one. So let's begin with the connection friend. We are using this T-shop which you can see the second one on the screen. And you can see the connections on the top right of the screen. Your T-SOP can vary, so please see the pin diagram of your T-SOP which are using. There are three pins, VCC, ground and the output. The output should be connected to pin number 11. Here yeah, I am connecting the output to digital pin 11 of the Arduino Uno board. and the VCC and ground pins accordingly. The ground pin will go to the GND and the VCC pin will go to 5 volts. So here the connection is ready. Let's get back to our code. COM port is selected correctly. And not up 
program methodologies are correct so let's compile the program before that we can save it for further use let's compile the program friends it is showing an error multiple libraries were found this is because um all arduino id already have a file named irremote.h as you can see in the example here let's go to the examples before that let's include the libraries we have ir remote and robot ir remote the name of the include files of both the this these programs are ir remote h as you can see in this example which is the ir remote example for robot this also includes that ir remote h which is by default installed by the arduino ide so we have to debug these problems let's get rid of one of the files which is the robot ir remote file we'll go to the arduino folder in your program files then navigate to libraries in which there is a robot ir remote we have deleted this folder so one file is gone friends we are left with only one file which is ir remote file which we have included reopen the arduino id and recompile it so the problem rises again so restart the program let's connect the Arduino board okay and we are restarting the Arduino ID and let's compile the program is compiling properly as we can see the compiled program will be uploaded on the board so done uploading let's see whether the code is working properly or not turn on the serial monitor first here's the connections now here i am pressing the remote buttons and the serial monitor is giving out the hex decoded values of these buttons the starting bits consist of the address of the remote as you can see all the starting two bits are same if i'll change the remote the starting bits will also be changed this is as simple as that thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos like this all the supported file are given in the description you can download them from there like subscribe and share and please hit the like button below so friends have a nice day bye bye